Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com and in this video we are going to look at the two best things you can do to reduce your PowerPoint file size. Now there are many things you can do now which will include from not embedding fonts unless you need to, removing excess master slides, you know, linking to videos rather than embedding them. There are many things you can do. We want to focus on the two best uh, things. Now, the first of those will be that you may notice at the top of my screen that my PowerPoint uh, slide deck that I'm using here, a very basic one, it's only got four slides in it, but that I'm in compatibility mode. Now, this can be a fairly common thing for people to do if they're doing a lot of traveling and they're delivering these presentations at many sites. You may want to save it in an older version to try and ensure that it's going to work on the various devices and computers that you end up delivering using. But if you know you're going to use your own piece of kit, your own laptop, then you don't need that. So that's going to make a big difference. If I just jump out of PowerPoint for a moment and have a look at this file, this is it. And if I hover over it, it's 836 kilobytes. So it's not a lot, because it's only four slides, it's only got a couple of pictures. But that's what it is at the moment, 836 kilobytes. If I go back to my PowerPoint presentation, and if I go for File, Save As, and if I upgrade this to the current PowerPoint presentation format, these XML formats. And if I save that, and let's go and check this one out. So there's the old one, the 836 kilobytes. This is the new one, 738 kilobytes. So even in this tiny file I've got, you know, the bigger the file, the greater the influence and the difference it will make. I've dropped 100 kilobytes, you know, 100 kilobytes, 98 to be precise, kilobytes dropped just by doing that. You imagine what that will be with larger files and, the, you know, we're looking at a lot of kind of megabytes and that dropped. Now, the other big thing that you can do is compress your images. Now, I've got two images here, very basic image here. And a slightly more elaborate photographic image here. Let's pick on this photographic one. Let me give it a click. So I'll get the format tab at the top. In here, I can click on compress pictures. And we'll have various settings to play around with. Now, first of all, let's go from top to bottom. We've got to apply it only to this picture. Now, I've got a couple of pictures here. So I'm going to uncheck that box so I can press them both at the same time. Now you have to be a little bit wary with that. You know, this may reduce the quality of the images depending on the type of image and that they are. So doing it for the entire presentation is not really for me to advise. It's for you to check. But, you know, if I can compress them all, it's going to make the most difference. I'm happy with these two being compressed. Deleting cropped areas, I think you're going to want that. You know when you crop images to hide elements you don't need, they're still in that file size. They're still there. You're just not viewing them. This will completely delete them, making a difference to its size. And then it will ask you what resolution you want. Now I'm going to choose web here. Let's imagine that I'm going around delivering this myself. You see it mentions for projectors. So this is for the screen. That's what it used to be called, I think for what I now call it web. You've got other options here. You know, print is the best quality apparently for printers and screens. Um, you've got an email option, but I'm going for the one that specifies projector. It's a little bit smaller as well, look 150 ppi to 220. That's the one I'm opting for. If I click OK, it will perform that compression. I'll now go and save my file again. And let's go and see what it is now. I think it was 738 a little while ago. Let's have a look at it. Still 738. Let me go and save this file again. 
Let's check what's going on and come back to it. May have to refresh this screen. Let me refresh it. Here we go. 126 kilobytes. Wow. What a drop that is for compressing two images. So that is the same file size. Here's the older one, 836. It's now 126. That is a massive drop in file size. So they are the two biggest things you can do for the greatest impact. They're not the only things, but they're the greatest impact. It's what I try to demonstrate in this video. Even with a slide deck of this tiny, tiny size, I was able to make that bigger difference. I hope you find this video useful. Please check out some of my other video tutorials on my YouTube channel and come check us out at computergarga.com.